this spade right here, it is something like no other. I looked at it and I'm like, uh, guys? We're just scratching the surface of how effective this freeloader is going to be. Whew. Gives them something to hold on to in that shad profile, that shad trailer. I just feel like this fish calls me they hold on to it a heck of a lot better. I wanted a bait that I could sort of hover um, in the strike zone and, and not have a lot of uh, aggressive action. I wanted something that was subtle. Um, and because of the flat sides, it doesn't really roll. It really keeps it real tight and real natural. Good one, too. You know, for years and years, we've been throwing the wrong stuff, and now you're starting to see stuff like this come out, and it just, it's obvious this is the right trailer. It's a really, really nice one. Each bait is a tool. Some days they want that action. It's uh, just super effective. <laughs> Look at that sucker. That's cool. So on the Vibrating Jig Trailer, we named it the Freeloader. And the big thing with the Freeloader, when you look at it, it's very streamlined. And, and the hunting action is very key with it, okay? If you have a lot of appendages on the back of your Chatterbait Trailer, that bait will not hunt. You, know, you want that bait to hunt and, and switch directions. That's what triggers the bite. In addition to that, you don't need a ton of action, but that tail really does have a little bit of that realistic kicking action. Subtleness is a lot of the mainstay throughout the Crush City lineup. In addition to a great chatterbait trailer, it's a phenomenal spinnerbait trailer. This profile just is a confidence thing for me. The perfect size for whatever I'm targeting. Light wire spinnerbait, that's the deal. Every time your blade rotates, that bait and that tail is kicking back there and it's a subtle action. When that fish, you don't realize how many times a fish is tracking your lure and looking at that lure, and then you have that little tail back there just swimming along very natural, just like a real bait fish, and that is the difference between triggering a bite and that fish tailing off and going somewhere else. In addition to that, it's a very subtle, small finesse type bait. Got them. <laughs> They're all over. Golly, that's not a small one either. Oh, got him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Holy smokes. Bass, they they change. They they adapt to their surroundings. They get used to certain baits. I uh, won a major tournament this season, um, the BPT on, on Gunnersville, fishing community holes. Well, 19 out of the 20 bass I caught were all on the freeloader. It was something crazy that just caught, it's just insane. Mm, baby, yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that freeloader. You could go right behind someone and just absolutely kill them on this bait. Six pounds, two ounces. <laughs> and all this week, it's been. It's been about that dude right there. That freeloader on a BMC head. Just been absolutely just triggering them big ones in the biting. I throw it out there, let it hit the bottom, and I start to pop, pop it. So what that bait is doing, it's rolling. Okay, it's rolling. But it's it's just something about it, whether it's smallmouth, spotted bass, or largemouth, it is just really swept the tournament scene this year by storm. I mean, it's uh I don't know how many fish I've caught on this technique um, when I'm just casting it out there and just popping my rod and shaking and baking it. It just, it just generates bites, whether it's in three foot of water or 50 foot of water. It's uh, just super effective. It's a good minnow profile. It's really hard to beat. So we have 17 hand selected colors in the freeloader. And the reason behind that is I like to contrast my vibrating jigs quite a bit. So if I'm throwing a green pumpkin and I have so many different colors to choose from to be able to add a lot of contrast, Rather than having 40 different colors in my vibrating jig box, I have five. And the trailer sort of changes the overall look of the bait. So the freeloader is four and a quarter inches, and I just felt like that was the perfect size for a chatterbait spinnerbait trailer. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs>